The Amateur Radio Club here at NC State is a uh, group of college students who have a interest in the gear, the electronics, the, um, the radios, the antennas, the power that, that goes into um, communicating with other amateur radio clubs at other universities and an individual. And we are interested in promoting amateur radio across multiple disciplines and majors and incorporating radio broadcast and radio speech into an area of expertise that students can come to understand. It's one of the oldest student organizations on campus. The amateur radio station is licensed by the federal government as an amateur radio station as W4ATC and that license goes back to 1931. Today's amateur radio operators maintain a, a, a radio station that can be operated independent of the power grid, independent of cell phone networks. It provides um, a backup for emergency communications. Uh, if there's a natural disaster that takes down the regular infrastructure, if you have a variety of people throughout the population who understand and have skill in using radio and they have their own equipment and often have their own emergency power supplies, then in short order you can set up a backup emergency communication system. This station can be an emergency uh, station. Um, I think in 1984 they did assist when, when, it, when the tornadoes came through um, eastern North Carolina. The hurricanes that hit uh, Puerto Rico in 2017 and, and, and then again I think 2022, uh, there, there was um, some of the first messages out of Puerto Rico uh, when all that power went down were, were um, ham radio operators. It's a hobby about communication, but it's also a, a community service, and that's what we pride ourselves on. We're interested in communicating with some other departments and other clubs, actually. We have the Raleigh Amateur Radio Society that we work really closely with. And they're the ones that are doing a lot of organizations and events, so sometimes we just piggyback off of those. They were doing the field day, which, is, which means they go to park, it's at all the radio equipment, antennas. And then you try to make as many contacts as you can on as many different bands as you can, and there's a whole um, point system for this contest. It's really about fellowship and, and, and enjoying the hobby, and it's a great time for, for new or interested um, radio operators to come out and, and participate. Getting people on the air that might not be that interested in doing so is a real motivating factor for me. We have the nets that we are running bi-weekly where all you need is a simple walkie-talkie handheld radio to check in. Um, you can obviously come to the room and operate on the main HF radio. A lot of the students are interested in what, what we call contesting, seeing how many, um, how many contacts, how many communications you can establish between um, other radio operators around the world. I would have to say that my favorite memory is when we were actually doing the QC contest in order to see how many signals we could get, and I was just astonished by how many people were on the air at that time, even though it seemed like it was quite empty, there were still tens of contacts that we made in the course of merely two hours. And we were able to reach some signals all the way out to Italy, which is, I find quite shocking on shortwave. So the club has been somewhat dormant in the past few years. So there was not really much operating that was happening out of the old location. Moving here to Centennial Campus with the new antenna, the new tower, is a great motivation to get new people on the air and show them how you know fun and powerful amateur radio can be. I think the time right now where we're working with the Student Amateur Radio Society to relocate the station is one of the most exciting times since I've been involved with the club. We have some excellent student leaders that are revitalizing the club, attracting new members. When we move to Centennial, we'll finally have a space on the engineering campus where we can actually showcase our status as an ECE club and it will allow a lot of new membership opportunities, but we're also just interested in getting the new equipment and we're interested in promoting a little more of a breath of life into this club. Having Dr. Stansel being a, a ham radio operator supporting the club, the club is at a really good point now. A lot of interest from students, um, more than I've seen in, in a number of years. With the support of the ECE department, a new uh, tower and better antennas are gonna go up on Engineering Building 2 
and then a new um, club room is being set up. Um, I think it'll be more accessible to, to club members and they'll have a, a better facility to um, kind of rebuild in. If you want to get involved with Amateur Radio at NC State, you can check out our website, w4atc.ncsu.edu. Uh, you can join our Discord server on the NC State Discord Hub. And feel free to come in, ask any questions. We'll be happy to answer them. We have a lot of very knowledgeable amateur radio operators who are more than welcome to help you get on the air for the first time.